Hello again everyone, as usual, I'm Buff Button. Today we are back with another episode of Terraria Season 2 Calamity. So, last episode, we ended up getting a couple upgrades after fighting the Devourer of Gods. And, uh, uh, Erezer, Erezer? I still don't know how to pronounce that name correctly. Uh, but anyway, uh, we got some upgrades. We got a new suit of armor. Uh, it's pretty dope. We got a lot of, uh, mana here. Uh, we got extra health even. Um... So yeah, this is uh, definitely getting very helpful. Um, now, uh, we also ended up taking on the Frost Moon and Pumpkin Moon again, so we can get some extra stuff from them. Uh, I don't remember what they're called. Um, uh, let's see. One of them was Endothermic Energy, and then... Um, I don't remember. Uh, we need to combine it with something. Here, let's, uh, here. So, here it is. Um, Nightmare Fuel, that's what it was called. Uh, so we ended up fighting the, um, the moons to get those, because those are going to be a very necessary, um, material later on. Um, and then today we were going to do the eclipse so we can take on, uh, anything there and, uh, get the dark sun fragments. So yeah, that is what we are going to start with. Let's get this. Okay. Oh yeah, we also got that. I forgot about that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, boom. Boom. Okay, that's everything I can do there. Then... There we go. I like this new magic staff. This is a very nice staff. Now, other than Mothra, there's not really anything too terribly difficult during the Eclipse, so there's not really much that we need to watch out for. So I think we can just literally just keep on wailing on things, because there's nothing dangerous about the Eclipse anymore. Unless there's something new that was added recently from a mod that, uh... Uh, you know, from beating a certain boss or whatnot, there might be something new. Nailhead, you are taking a long time to die. Okay. Hey, here we go. Oh, hello. Interesting, so Mothra spawns with, um, uh, a couple babies ready already. Ooh, okay. That's interesting. <laughs> Mothra just simply just died in midair. Just pew! Ow. Can I help you? Oh, there's another. Were you just laying eggs? Is that what you were doing just now? Come on, Mothra. I know you want to die. Wow. This is absurd. I don't really know what's going on right now, but it's hilarious. Are these things not dying at all? What is going on here? Oh, wait a minute. I can also get that. I actually died. That's a shock. Le Phantom. I'm assuming that is the Phantom of the Opera thing. Tesla Defibrillator. Interesting. Alrighty. 
Now, obviously, like we did with um, uh, everything last episode, we're probably not going to do the whole um, uh, eclipse. We're probably just going to do like half of it and then stop because there's no real need to do the full eclipse. Does Mothra not lay eggs anymore? Is it just the babies are there now? I think that's how that works. Whoa, what's above my head? Okay, that was weird. Do I still have the uh, mech worm? I don't. What the heck? I was confused about that because I didn't see the mech worm going. Got a bunch of dark sun essence there. How much are we currently at? 119? I think I'm gonna try and go a little bit higher. Check out this Tesla defibrillator as well. It's a healer item. I wonder if it's used for something. Who's making that sound? I'm just annihilating these things. Hello there, Mothra. How are you? Why so squeaky? There we go. Wow, these guys are really stingy at dropping the uh, dark sun fragments. I was hoping to have at least like two or three hundred by now, but. My god, they are just so stingy. Of dark sun fragments right here, I would gladly like to take all of them. Oh. I didn't realize that was off. Wait, I don't have my crown anymore! Is that because I died? Or did some kind of debuff take it away from me? That sucks. Interesting. So Mothra now has three babies. So if you kill the babies before you kill Mothra, then it seems like Mothra will lay more eggs and it just keeps increasing, maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. What am I at now? 222. That's still not that many. Because the um, stuff that it turns into takes five of each to make one. So just 200 would make, what is that, like 40? And we probably need a lot for continuing. So I'm going to want a lot more. Yeah, like, all of my, um, 
buffs are like being taken away. Um, for some reason, I can't use my uh, mechworm. That's concerning. That's still not that many, though. I don't know why... Okay, there we go. I was gonna say, I don't know why I'm going slow, but it's kind of helping to fight them that slow, actually. Who's up here, and why are you important? No one? Okay. Oh, defective sphere. Uh, sphere, that sounds kind of cool. Freaking launched the Mothra there. I love doing that. I'm curious about this defective sphere, actually. Um, let's get rid of this mushroom. Um, I can't get rid of this mushroom. I'm. There we go. Oh, great. I'm stuck using this again. Interesting. I'm not I'm not holding down my mouse button. There we go. Okay. Alright, three hundred and eleven. Yeah, let's call it there. Anything else I can pick up here? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. So we got 317. That's not terribly a lot, but it's at least a good starting point. Um, oh, I already have them. Dang it. Okay. Uh, banner. Banner. Metal. Defective sphere. Oh, that's actually a thing. That sucks. Banner. Broken hero fragment. Sword. Sphere, heart magnet. Interesting. Oh, that does turn into something. Okay. Uh, we don't have any of them either. That's awesome. Okay. Solar veil. Um, I'll just toss those, I guess. Cause why not? Okay. So let's uh stash those in there. Okay. So now what we can do is quickly sell all that. Okay. And then what I would also like to do is I would like to start decoding the next um, uh, thing here. God dang it, pig. There we go. So this schematic here. All right. So that will take its time to decode. And then we should be good on that uh, front. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this should unlock the uh, voltage tag system, whatever the frick that's meaning. Wait, I can do that from here. Duh. Oh, it's not tag, it's reg. I just fat keyed the uh, T instead of the R. Gotcha. Alright, and that looks like it is doable, but I don't have sufficient uh, sufficient knowledge because it's not, you know, deciphered yet. So as soon as this thing is deciphered, 
then we are all good there. Man, we are losing a lot of power cells. Let's go collect some more, shall we? Oh god, what's going on in there? Oh no, why would you do that? Wow, that's such a small little box there. I wish there was an easy way to take them out of here instead of just, you know, one by one. You could just, like, shift-click it, like Minecraft, but no. That doesn't seem to be the case. Yeah, because if I try and shift-click it, it does the, uh... Um... Thing. I can't think of words. Get out of there. Alright. Come on. Yeah, I think we'll be set on power cells for the rest of our life. I don't really have... Come on. Hey, I learned how to create new things. Awesome. Yeah, I don't really have much uh, uh, to go on for that claim. Just um, a, a, a little hunch, you know? Okay. And once we harvest all this, then we'll be good for the future. Come on. There we go. Alright. Oh dear. Wrong button. I had to itch my head so I couldn't move for a second there. I want to do the math on how long it actually took to create all these. Because it creates one every 15 seconds. We have... What the... Really? We have, um... Five... Times four times two... That's, uh, 40. We have 40 of the things here. And we have however many of these. So... It's definitely gotta be a lot. Alright. So let's come up here, pop those in there. No! God dang it, man. Screw you, you piece of trash. Well, if we want to read that, we're going to have to uh, wait now. Alright. Come on. Okay. So we're going to have to wait for that thing to be done. In the meantime, we can make that voltage... Uh, I'm sorry? Oh, I don't have any Eula Bloom? Really? How do you spell that? U-E-L. U-E-L. There we go. Wow, the lag. What's going on there? Why is the game lagging so hard? Normally it doesn't stutter like this unless there's a lot of like particles and such. That's weird. All right. So we can now make that. Like everything is stuttering. I don't have any other processes going on on my computer really. That's weird. All right. Only the highest ranking in the battalions of Yaram's army held these weapons. However, these are still not my most potent tools. Those characters could not be trusted with them. Addendum. The final piece remains. Travel now from the hottest fire this land has to offer, offer to the most frigid frigid cold I cannot deny having some this is taken forever since 
of poetic. Okay. Oh, poetic symmetry. Okay. Alright, so we are now done with this one. We can now add this onto it. What will this add? Just that little bit there, I guess. Okay. So now we can open our piggy bank again. And we can take this final schematic. There we go. Also. No, okay. Alright, so we gotta wait for that one to finish. Uh, in the meantime... Um, if we look at the bosses, this guy is the next one. I mean, we could definitely... Yeah. Yeah, we could do that, couldn't we? Okay. So, that is bosses and events. Is the Dread Lantern consumable? It might be consumable, and we don't have any. It is consumable, okay. Gotcha. Good to know. Oh god, the floor is still littered with garbage. Ugh. I forgot about all this. There's no way we're fighting a boss with all this garbage here. Although I will keep the uh, banners. Because I'm a banner freak. Oh, my inventory's full already? My god. It's time for a tea party, guys. Okay. Come on. I don't know how I en uh, ended up in here. <laughs> All right. There we go. So drop down here, throw these in here. All right, now, do we need to be um, doing this at night? Summon the burning horror of the night. But it doesn't say that it needs to be at night. This is a weird thing. Does it show here? It does show here. Spawn info. Use that near an obelisk. Yeah, it doesn't say at night. But let's make it at night regardless. I think we still... Oh, yeah, Mechhorn. Okay. There we go. So let's make it night. And then let's use this. Okay. So... We fought this guy before. Or, er, well... Not this specific guy, but we fought the Flaming Pumpkin. But it looks like this guy is different. I think this guy is the final boss of the Shadows of Abaddon mod. If he is, I'm gonna say this right now, he is very underwhelming so far. Oh, that's part of the background. I thought that was an actual attack that he was doing. And he just stays there. He doesn't move or anything. What the frick? Oh, never mind. I shouldn't have said anything. Alright, so I just looked at my health, and I'm actually getting kind of low. So, maybe this guy's not actually as bad as I thought he was. Oh, what the frick is this now? Oh, 
Aura of Suppression? Alright. That's more like it. This guy's got another phase. Like an actual phase. I shouldn't have done those. Because neither of these are actually attacking yet. Am I not able to attack him with mana or something? No way. Is that actually it? I'm legit just not able to attack him with mana. There it is. Nihilus the Abyssal Flame. Alright. That's more like it. I was hoping for another phase that would actually be difficult. Much better. Oh baby, this is so much better. Okay, and he did not take the obelisk with him, so that's good. I don't need to rebuy that every time I fight him. Okay. So we're doing good. Just circling him is doing very good. Oh, I lost my rage! No! God dang it, whatever. Oh, there's that. I was going to activate my rage and my adrenaline modes at the same time. There he is. He seems to get really slow once he's this low on health. Hey! He's dead. Okay. I'll admit that was still a little bit easy. Honestly. But then again, I am kind of really OP at this point, so... Understandable. All right, now let's check on that thing. There we go. And see if it's ready, but first let's empty the inventory. I can toss that. You want something? Yeah, I want to sell that. Okay, let's put that off to the side. All right. I have since made progress to even greater weapons than these, but they remain creations to be proud of. No progress can be made without a desire that comes from dissatisfaction. The time has come. You are ready. Are you sure about that? Because I feel like I'm not very ready. Okay, so Orc Quantum Cooling Cell. That's the last thing. Which I don't think I can make. Yeah, that takes uh, Auric Bars, even, which I don't have yet. Core of Alum. I only have five of them. No. Okay. Alright, so yeah, we cannot make that yet. Alright, and then... Since I don't need these anymore, I will just throw them into our thing here. Alright, let's open this. Lucky Yada Mirror. 774 damage. Just straight damage, I guess. Uh, erosion samples. Pink Eyes Hood. Are you kidding me? Ember of Omen. Oh, a 
Abyssal Grenade. Desperatio. Something like that. Soul Scorcher. Okay. Interesting. Flames of Condemnation. Unleash a volley of Abyssal Embers on Swing. Yeah, that's definitely better than that. Okay. Tenembris. Interesting. I'll have to check these things out. 22. Oh, they take erosion samples. Interesting. Okay. So I do not have enough money for any of this stuff yet. So I will have to fight him a couple more times off camera, I guess. But he's not that bad. A Yada Mirror. Wait, it's an equipable that does damage? Oh! It's not a material, though. That's a shame. But that thing does 774 damage. That's pretty dope. I like it. I really like it. Alright, so let's toss those, and then I'll just get rid of Pink Guy's hood. Traveling Merchant, huh? Haven't seen you in a long time. How's it going? Alright. There. Um... I'm trying to think of what else we should do, but I don't think there's really much more we can do. Oh, actually... Let's come here. If I reforge this to something else, will it do more damage? So brisk, rash, melee speed. Uh, stealth generation, no, melee speed. Defense, no. Critical strike chance, no. Okay. Plus 4% damage, menacing. Yeah, let's give that a shot. That seems like it could be kind of cool. Alright, so we got that. Um, next time, I guess we will... So I, I'll try and fight this guy a couple more times off camera, just so I can get the, um, uh, the weapons that he gives. And then... Next time, I think we will start off with um, making those weapons. And then we're also going to go ahead and fight Yaron next. I'm assuming... Oh, God, what happened to the game? There we go. I'm assuming we have the Jungle Dragon Egg, or at least have the ability to make it. I'll take these erosion samples and throw them in here now, I guess. Um, okay, so... What's it called? Jungle Dragon Egg... Okay, so we can make it. And it is not consumable. Okay, so let's craft that. Just right now. That way, next episode, we will just be ready right away then. Awesome. Okay, so yeah. Uh, next time, we will craft new weapons from this guy. And then we will also go fight Yaron finally. So we can try and advance with the mod pack. Because uh, Yaron is blocking... Exomex, and he is also blocking the rest of the souls, basically. So, yeah. Once we defeat Yaron, I'll be able to essentially spend about 50 hours crafting every single enchantment that we need to uh, upgrade. What is a happy grenade? Interesting. Um, so, yeah, that'll be really interesting. Um, but, with that said and done, uh, that is going to have to be it for this episode, then. If you guys did enjoy, then please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Thank you, and have a great day. Goodbye.